Hey, good morning, Council President Wesson. It's Eric Previn from uh, CD2. I'm just going to take 60 seconds on this one, so make uh, make a note so that we don't have a problem. Um, so, so this one is, uh, yeah, this is obviously the Vice Chair uh, and the Chair of Public Safety reporting on the Clean Harbor Environmental Service Incorporated uh, deal, which is to pick up hazmat, hazard, hazardous materials. Um, we have a series of contracts in the in the county on this same subject where we have a kind of a panel uh, and it's uh, Don Canabi over there no relationship to Englander here that's the lobbying firm you're confusing in the middle there sir but I just want to make sure that we're not kind of duplicating overdoing and I have not had a chance to fully scrutinize that so I would just bring it up obviously hazmat collection is one of the hallmarks of any good operation and we have to make sure uh, today over there they're also uh, cashing some checks for the MDL which has to do with the Bon and Wolf report the, the copper that gets into the water that can be problematic. So, but rather than having little meetings about it, we should actually incentivize folks to do uh, the repairs needed. So thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, uh, let's prepare to vote on this item. Let's open.